Ladies and gentlemen, the Raiders dominated joint practices against the San Francisco 49ers. We're going to give you highlights from Jimmy Garoppolo and also the defensive side of the football. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo is better than Brock Purdy today, which is not what Niner fans need to hear. So first and foremost, Max Crosby at the press conference after practice really set the expectations high for this upcoming season. And I really like what he had to say. You know, every single day I come in here, I think about winning. You know, I don't do this year round to come in and not make the playoffs. I'm sick of that shit and uh, I want to keep winning and I want to get back to the playoffs. I wanna, like I said, I want to win championships. I want to be at the top of the game. I want to be the number one guy regardless of position. So he's setting the expectation high. He wants to win championships. He wants to make the playoffs. We hear all this talk about how the Raiders are building and they keep getting better and Max Crosby is kind of saying the opposite, which is like, hey, the time is now to strike. He wants to be a winner so the Raiders should be expecting to do well this year Crosby is setting that bar high we had some key standouts during joint practices against the Niners today and that was Duke Shelley who was able to come up with the interception it's a veteran cornerback on a one-year contract after spending time with the Minnesota Vikings last year and then Jacoby Myers the former Patriot making roughly 11 million dollars a year he was doing well and you also had Austin Hooper the tight end picking up a touchdown we'll talk about that later Michael Mayer the rookie tight end from Notre Dame was not able to participate in joint practices today one thing that has been encouraging the past few days is Jimmy Garoppolo getting better we know he's coming off that foot surgery coming off that major injury and he seems like he is now turning the corner and able to compete at a high level and you had him doing a perfect two minute drill capped off with completions to Jacoby Myers Hunter Renfro and Austin Hooper that touchdown that we talked about a little bit earlier Jimmy G was able to hit all of his targets and do well against a defense that is stacked and loaded even though Nick Bosa was not participating it is still a stacked and loaded defense and keep in mind we're going up against former Raiders on this defense and that is Cleland Farrell who was the number four overall pick in 2019 one thing that's interesting is that the Niners are expecting this guy Farrell to start opposite of Nick Bosa but either way Jimmy G was able to do well against his former team in 11 on 11 drills and I also listened to some other Niners reporters they were disappointed in their quarterbacks mainly Brock Purdy and Trey Lance and they actually admitted that Jimmy Garoppolo was the best quarterback on the field today and Byron Young the Raiders draft pick out of Alabama interior defensive tackle was able to flash in practice today especially during the one-on-ones which is great to see because he battled injuries early in camp and was not participating but now he is back in the fold. Devontae Adams obviously made his plays today, not only with Jimmy Garoppolo, but he also made some plays with Brian Hoyer. 37-year-old Brian Hoyer was able to connect with Devontae Adams in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Uh Uh-oh, do not sleep on Brian Hoyer. And what's kind of funny is the beginning of the scrimmage, Brian Hoyer actually got most of the work, but Jimmy G was able to come in and get a lot of work in the second half. We know Chandler Jones, who had a disappointing year last year, was able to shed some weight and it seems like it's doing well for him he looks quicker more agile off the line and he beat some of the 49ers tackles with some finesse on three straight reps and these are not some just whatever tackles they have some good tackles there on the San Francisco 49ers in particular Trent Williams and we have other defensive linemen doing well we talked about Chandler Jones obviously Max Crosby always does well and we talked about Byron Young and then you have Koontz and Tillery looking good in one-on-one drills we got the edge defender Koontz, interior defensive tackle Tillery, the former Charger, and on top of that, the seventh round pick, Nesta Jade Silvera, was doing well, very powerful. You had Crosby talk about the fact that this guy plays with a lot of energy and effort, so maybe this guy could be a sleeper draft pick for the Raiders defense this year. Zamir White was also able to make some plays. He had some nice explosion on a run, and that's great to see because it does not seem like Josh Jacobs is coming back anytime soon but the Raiders have Zamir White in the meantime. And I also want to say that Amir Abdullah 
Garoppolo had some good plays today in the pass catching game as a running back. And Jimmy Garoppolo, one key thing to note, according to The Athletic, he did get off to a slow start, but he was still able to finish the day as the best quarterback on the football field. Granted, he should definitely be the best quarterback on the football field since he has more experience than people like Trey Lance, people like Brock Purdy and Sam Darnold. And he's obviously more proven than Brian Hoyer and Aiden O'Connell, but he was still able to finish out and do quite well. And it does show that he's making progress from his injury. We did not get any confirmation from Josh McDaniels whether or not the starters will play in the upcoming preseason game. He said he's going to wait to see how practice shakes out in these joint practices with the San Francisco 49ers. I'm curious, will Jimmy G play in preseason? McDaniels is not really saying yes or no. I would not be surprised, honestly, if he does need to shake some more rust off and get some reps against another team if he does play. Keep in mind, Patrick Mahomes has played every single opening preseason game since 2018. It's not entirely unusual for a quarterback to play in preseason, and maybe Jimmy G could suit up this Sunday, and maybe we'll see him in a Raiders uniform much more quicker than we realize. And you have rumors about Trey Lance. This quarterback was the third string quarterback during practice today for the San Francisco 49ers. Who's going to trade for Trey Lance? I don't think the Raiders are going to trade for Trey Lance at all. Raiders already have a former Niner quarterback in Garoppolo, former Niner quarterback in Brian Hoyer. I don't think the Raiders need three Niner QBs, but there's still some rumors. Anytime any player is on the block, you get them Raider rumors about, uh oh, is this player going to go to the Raiders? Trey Lance to the Raiders? Is it possible? That would be insane, especially given the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo had to compete against this guy when the Niners selected him in the first round. What if he goes and travels to Vegas, right? Wouldn't that just be insane? And Jimmy G actually opened up in an interview with the San Francisco Chronicle, and he talked about how it was difficult, you know, dealing with Trey Lance being there as his replacement, and it was awkward. And it is kind of difficult to play with some confidence when you know there's some guy there ready to take your job at any moment. And hopefully now that he's with the Raiders and it seems like there's no clear competition for his job, unless he gets hurt or Aiden O'Connell really balls out, there's really no competition against Jimmy Garoppolo. So maybe he'll play freer and with more confidence this year. After all, Max Crosby said it's playoff season this year, right? And I am a little bit more confident in Jimmy Garoppolo after this first session of joint practices. And it's because you got Niners reporters. You got people like Grant Cohen even talking about the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo did well. They were saying that he looks like the veteran version of Brock Purdy. And so Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, if he's getting praised by just the Raiders reporters, obviously the Raiders reporters are going to be more of a homer for Garoppolo. But the fact that you got Niners reporters, people who used to cover this guy are kind of moving on from this guy and now trying to prop up some of these other quarterbacks like Brock Purdy and Trey Lance. Even these guys are pretty positive about Garoppolo's performance today. Let's see if he can put together another good day tomorrow when they play the Niners in joint practices. And also in the San Francisco Chronicle interview that we mentioned earlier, Jimmy Garoppolo talked about the fact that he was trying to come back from his foot injury last year to play in the NFC Championship game. And he was pretty much saying that could quite possibly be why he did not recover on time and ended up having to get that clean up foot surgery. But what this tells me reading between the lines is that the Niners considered him the best quarterback on their football team, even while dealing with this foot issue. So it also seems like, yes, the Niners are trying to hype up Brock Purdy right now. But at the end of the day, if the NFC championship game was happening and Jimmy G was ready to go, they would have gone with Jimmy G over Brock Purdy because Brock Purdy did not get hurt until that NFC championship game. So yes, it sucks that Jimmy G is battling with this injury, but if he's able to move passes, if he's able to actually heal, he could be a sufficient enough quarterback for the Raiders this year, especially given the fact that they have weapons everywhere in terms of pass catchers. So either way, we had a good day of practice today. We're having more positive news for the Raiders. Thank goodness. And we got preseason happening this Sunday. We'll be live on this channel during the preseason game against the 49ers at one o'clock Pacific time. We did not hear much about Aiden O'Connell during some of these joint practices. So I think we're going to see a lot of him and Chase Garbers in this game. And I'm excited to see it. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out. And I hope you have a good one.